Um, well, there's a lot of things from the old 24 that people will recognize. The whole format of the show was so revolutionary and and we we hold on to that because I mean it's just such a fantastic tense kind of setup with the whole real-time scenario and the, the boxes and all that you should see all that but we've got a new cast of characters and I think you know it, it reflects the the changing face of what what is involved in counterterrorism these days you know solamente hemos hecho el piloto So, no, no sé mucho en, en términos de cómo va a progresar, pero sabemos que eh, es una serie que tiene, ya tiene una, una manera de verlo en la pantalla, que es el mismo día, real time, que hay ese reloj, que hay mucha acción, que es muy dramático, um, y todo eso va a seguir con nuevos personajes. Everything is new, except for the format. It's still real time, it's a real time show. It's, it basically follows the, the, the format with the, from the previous incarnations, but with a brand new story and a brand new character. It's a, it's a, you know, this character is, a, is an ex uh, 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 army ranger who, who, who be, be, becomes involved in a, in, a, in a giant government conspiracy with his fellow rangers and has to basically, you know, uh, gets, gets launched into the world that, that, that 24 used to inhabit. So it's a younger character, it's a younger character who's not, who's not experienced, who's not a master spy, but is plunged into this world. And so it's told from his point of view. And uh, also Miranda Otto plays uh, the head of CTU. So we'll be seeing national, the, the, the national headquarters of CTU, which we've never seen before. Right. And so it all takes place in Washington, and it, and it leads to a large, gigantic uh, conspiracy. I'm playing Rebecca Ingram. Um, my husband, who's played by Jimmy Smits, is running for president. And I am the head of the CTU, the counterterrorism unit, but I am leaving because um, I'm about to help my husband in his campaign. We sort of made a deal that he held off running when I was involved in a very important mission, and now it's my turn to give up what I'm doing to support him. But something happens on this day that uh, involves Eric Carter, who is an army ranger who was involved in this mission and something happens and I get drawn back in and uh, it's going to be a long day. Um, so in the pilot, listen, first of all, 24 Legacy is, is a new, like I said, a new edition of 24, which I was a huge, huge fan of. I think everyone, a lot of people were around the world. It's a lot of pressure with that. <laughs> I, there was a lot of pressure, there was a lot of pressure. Um, but, but, but I just remember reading the script uh, and, and just being so blown away with how, how specific this character is, how uh, complex he is. Um, he's a former Army Ranger and in the pilot you find him in federal witness protection after completing a, a mission successfully overseas with the help of CTU, um, which is ran by Rebecca Ingram, who's who's the you know former head, and um, so right now he's in witness protection, and and this season, over the course of this season, you you see the the mission start to come back and and haunt him, obviously, and. Um, it, 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 so he is a new hero for a new day, you know what I mean? He, he has to try to figure out what it means to fight on the home front because he's a military guy and the rules of engagement are different when you're, when you're here, you know what I mean? And when the threat comes to you, you know? So. Um, yo hago el personaje de sen el senador John Donovan y él es un senador en los Estados Unidos que, está, que es un candidato para el Definitely, from the pilot, there's a very strong action focus, um, but I haven't seen any of the scripts yet for the rest of it, so I'm really looking forward to that. We don't start actually shooting until September. We've only just the pilot is all we have so far. Oh, I mean, it, it was great, man. Stephen Hopkins, who directed the original pilot, I got to work with him on this one. And Howard Gordon, Manny Cotto, uh, Evan Katz, you know, so literally everybody is back, you know. Um, and, and so we, I, I hopped off a plane from Vietnam because I'd just finished shooting King Kong and literally walked right into this role and, and everybody, but it just, it, it just felt right. Everything just clicked, you know what I mean? And, and that's what you want, you know. There were no hurdles, there were no, there was, it was just, it was go time, and that's kind of how Eric, that's kind of what this show does. I mean, it's it's Eric Carter doesn't have time to breathe. You know what I mean? He literally has to 
do what he has to do yeah. in the moment, and and whether it's the right thing, the wrong thing, whatever you know, he'll find that out over the and you and as an audience member, you get to go on that journey. Um, but the pilot was it was just a joy to shoot, man, and uh, and I th I really cannot wait till it debuts because I think everybody's gonna gonna. So, I hope they do. Yeah. You're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> the, the the you know right now that's how we want to launch it. We don't know what we'll do in future seasons, and I think at least this 12-episode order reflects uh, just the TV landscape has shifted. You know, when 24 first premiered, sh any successful show had 22 episodes. That's no longer the case. So we'll, we'll a very see. good experience with the London with with Live Another yes. Day worked very well in 12 episodes, and I think that that part of it was the you know that worked well, and so let's let's launch this show that way. Hi, everyone in Spain. I hope you're going to tune into 24. Just want to say hello to Spain, and uh, I cannot wait for you guys to see 24 Legacy. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> A todos mis amigos en España, 24 Legacy, 24 Legacy. A saludos a todos los fans de 24 en España, uh, que le gusten el programa nuevo.